What is up guys, it's Cal, and I want to show you how many nether shards I have. 77,561. Now nether shards are kind of like, uh, no one cares about them anymore. Everyone goes to Argus, no one really comes to the Broken Isles. I mean, you might come here for world quests, but I do have quite a bit of nether shards saved up. Now I've done some like nether shard gambling videos before, you know, where you go into that little hole which is around here where the uh, worm tongue dude is, and then you buy all those keys with the nether shard crystals and then, um, or nether shards, whatever, and then you open those chests. I've done two videos like that before. I think I gambled like 25,000 of them, and then I gambled like 50,000 of them. Well, I'm not gonna do that anymore because it's kind of boring and it's, uh, well, not really helpful at all, especially since I've gotten all the pets and toys uh, from doing that, and it's not a very good way to get artifact power. But what I'm gonna do is something that I do find it can have some use to me, is with the nether shards, if you have excess nether shards from maybe doing the, um, Invasions, you can come to this NPC, War Mage Kathleen, and you can get these crates of champion equipment. Now, the only champion equipment I care about are legendary ones, obviously. Those are really the only ones that, that matter. And there's two in particular that I really want. So, well, there's one of them I already have, Shard of Twisting Nether, which uh, what Shard of Twisting Nether does is every time you complete a world quest, you get 100 order resources, and then you have a chance to get an artifact power piece. Now, I already have that one on my uh, current bodyguard right here, Shard of Twisting Nether. And the other one I want, which I don't have, is Pouch of Wonder, which has a chance to give you artifact power when completing world quests, but then also gives you, I think it's uh, 50 gold. Let me see, yeah, 50 gold per world quest you complete. So that's pretty cool. And I want both of those on the same follower, just so when I finish world quests, well, I have a higher chance to get uh, excess AP tokens. So with my 77,000, 77,500 nether shards, I can buy, I believe like 310 of these. 310 of these crates. So essentially that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep buying crates, keep opening them. I'm gonna record uh, what I get, well the rarity of what I get. Hopefully I get legendaries out of it, legendary follower equipments. And yeah, this is as clear as my inventory has been in a very, very long time. I tried clearing it out as, as best as I could just for this because uh, these things do not stack. So let's go ahead and buy the 300 and whatever crates I can get. Hopefully get some legendary follower equipments. Okay, well, I got exactly what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna keep going though. That is all of them. So as you see, I got one legendary, which was the one legendary I wanted, um, oddly enough. Now I'm gonna count up all the things that I got uh, because I did sell some before because I was trying to figure out the best way to do this. So let's see. Okay, so I just sold them all, counted them all up. And let's see, I got 179 green items, 97 blue items, 33 epic items, and then one legendary item, which means I 57.7% of the items I got were green, 31.3% were blue, 106 were epic, and then 0.32% was uh, the legendary, the one legendary I wanted, which was the one legendary I got. Let's see, uh, grants 50 gold when completing a world quest, grants a chance to get artifact token when completing a world quest. So I'm going to put that on my bodyguard here in a minute. Can I put it on him now? Let's not sell that. Uh -huh. Hey, there we go. That's just something to do with your excess, uh, excess nether shards if you want to come here. 
you can spend them all on these things. Oh yeah, also one thing I forgot to mention is that I made this macro to buy the boxes faster. Just do slash run space buy merchant item and then parentheses 25 comma. Well, actually that 25 is going to change. So I'm going to put it in the comments below, but it's going to be comma one. What you need to do is this um what she has what or what she's selling will change depending on your profession uh if the nether disruptor is up on your depending on your specs so you need to count how many slots until the crate so it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all the way to 20 then 21 22 23 24 25 for me it's 25 and then you do need to put comma one if you put comma and then any other number, it will give you a bag error because the crates cannot stack. You can only do that if the crates could stack, but they don't. So comma one, I just spam that, filled my inventory up, and then I open them all. I'm pretty sure there's another add-on called like buy them all or something like that, but I didn't feel like downloading it. But anyways, guys, that's the entire video. If you liked it, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.